keep lang at keep kemoy around. Keep lang at keep kemoy. It's your turn to present. After keep lang at Bernard keep lang at Silvanas Kipruto Amos Kasaini. In that order, please get ready for your presentations. What if I tell you we can be able to transform Kerio Valley from being viewed as a valley of dead to a valley of great transformation? This will be brought to you by planting of high-valued crops. And on this specific presentation, I bring to you apple farming in the valley. My name is Kiplaka Duncan, a graduate engineer for currently focusing apple farming. Over the years, we have been of considerate view that apple farming performs only better in temperate climate. But over the, which time, I would come to realize that by, plant, by using of correct rootstock, that's M9, uh, we can able to plant this apple even in arid and semi-arid areas. And for that reason, I'm choosing this uh, venture. As you're all aware, agriculture contributes about 40% of, of the employment in our country. And also, it contributes about 33 GDP, GDP, uh, percent of our national GDP. It also employs about 70% of the rural population. Therefore, even saying that agriculture is the backbone of our economy is still under, under, state, under statement. Uh, my target on apple farming, uh, a challenge is establishing of the apple uh, farm. Currently, I'm doing only 90 plants. They are seven months old, and I've started to uh, harvest they have started to fruit, and some have around 10 or 4 fruits. Uh, within a span of 3 to 4 years, I'm expecting that a plant can give me about 300 uh, fruits. Currently, we are able to assess market through association with Kenya Apple Growers Association, whereby in the, uh, in, in the coming week on 12, we'll be establishing a, a factory that will be using to uh, to package, to sort, and to export the apple. So the challenge of market will be sorted. Also, I'm targeting local grocery, supermarkets, and also international market. I'm from Kerio Valley, close to uh, Eldoret International Airport, where I expect to be exporting my fruits. I believe that by planting these apples, we're able to transform the valley, since many people now depend on uh, low-valued crops, which have very low income. By planting the apples, we are able to grow our income to greater extent. My vision is that I start first by planting the apples in the next few years, because now I have some I have access to the market. But as we grow, I intend to be able to uh, to grow an industry whereby we will be able to uh, add value to the apples by making crepes and other products. So I believe it's a profitable venture. An acre requires about 700 plants. Uh, by planting uh, the 700 plants and each plant giving me around 40 kgs, selling them at 3,000 shil at 300 per kg, I expect 12,000 shilling from a plant. Selling it at 300 uh, per kg, you expect a tune of up to 8.4 million per acre. What about if you plant about 10 acres? My farm is located close to Kerio Valley, accessible to water, and also I'll be doing. Uh, integrated uh, pest management because most of the customers nowadays are very much health conscious. And also, I'm um, establishing, I'm putting drip irrigation system to conserve our water. As we know, it's a challenge today. Thank you. That's my time. <laughs>